Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to kind of go over this little thing here that I've had a few questions and I've, I've run into it myself. And uh, what it was is that what if you don't want to use uh, your your current machine for Faceware, um, you want to stream from somewhere else. Now by default, uh, Faceware and MetaHumans communicate with each other on the same computer, um, but what if you want to change that up? Now, there's not really a way in face where the application, and that's where you kind of think it would be, but it's actually on the Unreal side in there. So uh, save yourself a little bit because that's how it used to be done. There used to be a, a different face where live um, kind of a, an application that you could do use it, but you you don't have that option now. It's different now. So for uh, their glass box pl plugin has some really cool. Uh, tutorials on how to do that with different models, but with very specifically metahumans, it's a quite uh, it's a slightly different process. Now I'm going to go over it here. Um, I'm just going to pull up uh, Faceware real quick. So here's a Faceware on my computer. This is running on my local machine. I'm streaming to the client, and if I press play, I've already calibrated it in neutral pose. And this is a video from from Faceware. So if I go do that, <clears throat> I hit play. Now my guy is talking just like her, talking about a purple dinosaur apparently. So he's doing his thing, uh, which is great, but also he has no head movement. That's actually kind of funny. I didn't realize that because she's hooked up to a to a stationary camera. He can't tilt his head side to side because it just doesn't work. But anyway, that's besides the point. So now that you see that this is working, I'm going to pause that. Actually, I'm going to close it all together because we're not going to be using it anymore. I'm going to pull up a remote desktop. So this is actually a remote desktop to a computer that's sitting next to me, but it is not the current machine. So you'll see. And I'll show you how to get the IP address. Like I know my IP address off by heart, but not everyone's going to do that. So this is a remote desktop connection. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There you go. So uh, this is a remote desktop connection to my other computer. And I'm going to scroll down. Yeah. So Facebook, uh, Facebook Studio is not working on it. So my webcam is actually hooked up to this computer next to me. So that makes it a lot easier for live. So um, I know the IP address here. So uh, you may not. So if you're, if you're using a different computer, and you can see me, hi. Uh, if you're using a different computer, what you want to do is you want to go down here. Well, you will be using a different computer, but here, let's take a look. Uh, to get your IP address, if you're using Windows, um, type CMD, Charlie Mary David, you open that up. And then when you go in here, you just type in IP config, all one word, hit enter. And then you're gonna see here, your IVP, IPv4 uh, address is gonna be here. This is the address that you want, 192.168.1.65. So, uh, so what we'll do from there is I'm going to minimize this guy and I'm going to go in here to the folder where your MetaHuman itself is is stored. So it's usually in a MetaHumans folder on the content. So you go content and then you click on MetaHumans and it'll be the name of your uh, particular character, which is mine is Daniel. And then when we go in here to uh, the BP, BP Daniel, double click on that one. Now, if you remember my current, uh, my sorry, my previous videos, I kind of explain, I totally explain how to do all this stuff. So uh, we're going to go revisit a little bit of that. Now, um, there was a point where we uh, created a component or a copy to component from one of the other examples to here. It was a component called Faceware Live. Now, this is where this information lives. So you click on that when you're in the BP, and then you go down here to... Um, configuration. So uh, we're playing right now, so you're not going to be able to do that. So you stop your simulation, click on Faceware Live, and then you're going to go in here to the address, and uh, it is going to say 127.0.0.1. That, for all you nerds, is home. That points to your local computer. So if you've ever seen those nerdy t-shirts that say, home is where the, or sorry, 127.0.0.1 is where the heart is, that's what that means. It's a pun. Anyway, <laughs> so this is where you'd want to put your 192.168.1.65. Keep the port 802. That's all you need to do. Now you hit that save, close that, and then what you want to do is go on your remote machine and then open up Studio, which I believe I have done. 
Yes, there's me. Uh, make sure you have ample light. I do not have that, so the effect is not going to be very well or very good. It's not going to be a nice result, but we get that flickering stuff. So we'll make sure you're 802, stream to client. And this is, I mean, obviously you're not going to be doing this with the computer next to you. You'll have somebody else. Here, I'm going to just do this real quick. I'm going to, oh, this is so hard to do. <laughs> okay, so calibrate and neutral pose. It won't let you stream without that. Uh, and then you want to make sure live uh, media, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, and then you want to stream to the client. Make sure you're on standard. Click on that button. Now you're streaming live. I'm going to minimize that. But yeah, again, uh, if you've got another computer on the same network, it has to be on the same network. You can use a VPN to plug in anything like that. But then you use that IP address, and then you get through, and you can stream. So uh, like uh, like I always do the XN stuff, we, we mocap uh, back and forth. Um, so Eric Bear in Texas, that's what we do with XN. This is the exact same process, or same same thing. So now if I hit play, you can see me. I'm streaming directly through the network into this computer. So you could do it on the other side of the world. Now that one doesn't have my profile in it, so the lip sync is not as good because I haven't spent any time. I just installed that. Anyway, if anybody has any questions, you know what to do. Uh, post a question or post your questions in the description. Or sorry, not the description. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, in the comments, and I will get back to you. And as always, have a great day.